I mean, the con concept's pretty cool. You ready to jump off that breeze? Jump off? Where are you? No one is. Can you die in this? I want to die. No, I don't think so. Oh, dude, I landed it. I landed it. You can get fuel. <laughs> I think my, I patient, my patient something. looks good. My patient looks good. <laughs> you land it? Are you okay? What the hell? It's, like, it's so bouncy. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, dude. I like, landed on my roof and it just bounced. Oh, he has a hospital, okay. Oh, I'm stuck. So I just wanted to do an aggressive driver. That sounds dangerous, man. Oh, no. Alright, come with me, sir. You're gonna be fine. I'm stuck. I need no ambulance. Can you give me a shove? Give me a second, brother. So what do we do? Just, like, put, just drop him off and then... <laughs> yeah, just leave him just, Sorry, you dickhead. Oh, yeah, he's gone. Wow. Alright, so we've got, like, we've got, like, five different things we can do with this. <laughs> it's the same guy. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Dog. What the fuck? Stop! He just got completely cocked by you, man. What's he doing? He's fucking driving the wall, isn't he? He's on a bad one. Right, so out the vehicle, out the vehicle, out the vehicle, out the vehicle. Oh, oh we have to like follow weapon, him. Have weapon. Weapon. Yeah, now we just wait. Like, literally, that's all we do now. Is we just, yeah, dude, it's so wait. realistic. Just wait next to that car. Hey, sir, do you know why you've been pulled over today? <laughs> Yo, what is up boys, and welcome to my first look at a game called Flashing Lights. I finally got my hands on a key for Flashing Lights, and a lot of people have asked me what I think about the game, whether or not people should buy it, so that's what I'm going to be answering hopefully in this video. I did look at this game a few months ago, I made a YouTube video just showing off the trailers and saying some pretty good things about it. It looked really awesome, and unfortunately, I've got to say today, the game's definitely not worth buying right now on its day of release, or I guess its day of release was yesterday, but it is still a really cool concept with hopefully a bright future ahead of it. So we're going to be playing pretty much every single role in this game right now, police, fire, fire, and medic. They are going to be adding a tow trucking system in the future. But the problem is with a game, to put it simply, although these systems are really, really cool, there's a decent amount of character customization, although they do look a bit interesting. Um, and also we can't make female, which is really, really upsetting. The problem is there's no VoIP, there's six player multiplayer servers, and ultimately there's not that many things to do as, for example, one of the most important roles I'd say in this game, or one of the roles that I would like to play the most, the policeman. You've only got two things to do. You can see on the left it says aggressive driver in a red vehicle. That's one of the things you can do, and another thing you can do is put tickets on people's cars. Other than that, there's literally nothing else to do as a police officer. So let's go ahead and turn on our engine. I did actually just miss that objective. Alright, we're going to wait a second. Um, but yeah, so we can go first person in our car. You know, like I said, cool concept and all. So you hold shift, and then you open up this little yellow thing, you can press this right here on your car, the speed radar, and you can see the, the, the speed of cars in front of you, but there's no point of that in multiplayer because there is no, um, there's no civilian vehicles in multiplayer. So there's no way to play as a civilian. You'll see I'm on single player right now, just to show that quickly, but there is people driving around right now, but other than these guys right here, on multiplayer, you are not going to experience anything like that. So it is a bit, uh, a bit shit. We can see, we can see the, the guy's speed right now, so it does actually work, and you can also get a speed camera out the back. I'm trying to go, there we go, third person right there. Uh, but yeah, basically it's just very limited. And the thing is, these pursuits you can see are not exactly 200 IQ pursuits. This guy has currently got himself stuck on a traffic light, and that's literally it at this point. In the bottom right, you'll see the suspect compliance. You just need to wait until that fills all the way up to 100. You're just going to get away here. But especially if you're on multiplayer, following this red aggressive vehicle, it takes about a minute to get it. And again, really, really cool concept. I actually forgot to turn on my sirens. There we go. Really cool concept. Without VoIP and without more people on multiplayer, I think it's very limited right now. If you had, let's say, even 20 player servers, or even 6 player servers is fine. But in my opinion, you needed VoIP, which uh, the engine this game is on is Uni, so it's definitely capable of it. Then all of a sudden you'd have so much to do. Well, not so much to do, but you'd have a lot of potential situations you could get into. And since there is no way for any players to play as a civilian, that is also very limiting. I don't know if you want to do that in the future or something like that. But yeah, I was also a bit disappointed, you know, a little wah wah right now. The, the car physics are pretty sweet though, so I can like, do a pit manoeuvre kind of right there. But I sent like four emails to the publishers of this game. Got ignored every single time. Submitted for a key on a uh, key mailer. And someone even tweeted at them and they said they'd contact me as well. But they haven't contacted me a single time. I know they contacted a lot of like... Uh, a lot of YouTubers, and, you know, my channel definitely does deal with this kind of stuff. So I don't really know why they just ignored my emails, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Basically, I was a bit upset. Uh, anyway, so you can see after the suspect compliance is 100, he now jumps out of his vehicle, go and talk to him quickly, get his ID. 
His name is Robin Stanley. You can also tell him to wait here and follow you. And there's also the action to pat him down, which you can get. I think right now, the only thing you can get from a frisk is an ID. But I guess in the future, when there's guns and stuff like that, or maybe there's an actual way for players to play as a civilian, maybe you can pat them down and see if we've got some illegal contraband or something. I don't know. Like I said, cool concept. Anyway, we're going to handcuff him. And then we're going to go and grab him quickly. And then we're going to go and stick him in our car and bring him back to the PD. And as far as I know, I might be wrong. I guess we'll see in a few seconds. But I think this is the only thing you can do as a cop right now. Follow red vehicle with a bald man with a wife beater on. And then you bring him back to a police station. You know? Again, would be cool, kind of, if it was void, but there isn't. Oh, there's also actually civilians walking around in the streets. I didn't realize that. But you are also bald men with wife beaters on. Hey, don't you worry, I'm going to show literally everything there is in this game, pretty much. I might miss a few things, you know, because of RNG. Maybe I won't get all of the... All the objectives. There is more objectives for different uh, roles. So if you play as uh, EMS or fire, they have a few different roles. But the problem is, I think right now, I could be wrong, but on multiplayer, roles which could involve two parties just didn't. So it was things like uh, when I was a medic saying like, um, yo, you need to uh, get this guy out of the car and make sure he's okay. But the thing is, when I arrived on scene, the guy was already out of his car and an AI had always already used his um, jaws of life to get him out. So... Yeah, a lot of potential there. And the problem is as well, the stuff in the top left, as far as I can see, means nothing. It's cool that it's tracked and you can you can work towards getting some more reputation points, but ultimately it doesn't actually do anything. I did see on an earlier roll you could actually get a gun, but it doesn't look like you can do that anymore. So that's a bit of a shame, I guess. But yeah, this is the police farm build and it's it's pretty sick. So let's go see if we get another um another objective which isn't pulling over a red vehicle, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a red vehicle in a second. There is a lot of bugs in the game, but you know it is early access, so whatever, but Things like, you know, the camera bugging out when you're driving like this. And when you've got a passenger, they can't hear the car. But the car physics are decent enough. There we go. See, so another red vehicle, aggressive driver. So we're not going to do that. I'll show you guys the ticketing system quickly. So this guy right here is in front of a police hydrant. So we're going to stop right here. Go to the front of a car. You can go to the front of any car. And you can give them incorrect tickets if you want. But then you'll lose reputation points. And uh, I, don't think this I don't think any of these apply. I could be wrong, except this. So if you do anything else, you're just going to lose points. The only thing you can actually give someone a ticket for is this. And then you just go enter, 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 enter. And then you get plus 10 reputation points. And you would have noticed as well, it doesn't actually put your player name on the ticket. No, that's a big deal. And also your player name does actually go on the... Um, or oh, doesn't... Oh, yeah, it is right there. There we go, see? Lewis on the background police car. And you'll have a look at anything else which is available as PD. So if you look at weapons, you can't get a weapon, unfortunately. Like I said, you could in earlier builds, but not anymore. Speed gun, which I don't really know how this thing even works. You can't really read it. Oh, okay, that's fine. She's left click and you can see the speed of people. That works fine. We do have a fire extinguisher if you want to join the fire department. Four objectives, you can see the ammo on the bottom left. And I think that's literally it for police. The things we've got, which have got the, um, the red circles on them, you can't do them. The reason I'm on single player today, by the way, is because there is apparently more objectives on single player than there is on multiplayer. I'd love to play on multiplayer, but unfortunately, I think it's the fire department have more objectives on multiplayer on single player than there is multiplayer. So, yeah, that's why I'm on this today. You can also turn on your hazards by pressing F. And in the bottom right, or on the bottom even, you can see there's a bunch of things which are going to be added, like left indicators, right indicators, and I'm not sure what the fifth one is, but you can see one and two of the sirens. There's no way to get gas right now, there's gas stations. And as a whole, the world is it's decent. I've seen worse worlds in my time. There we go, another red vehicle. Alright, anyway. I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign off the police department. Just going to drive in quickly. There we go. Lovely jubbly parking job. And we're going to go and change rule to the next rule, which is firefighter. Firefighter, the problem with it is uh, maybe it'll be more fun on multiplayer, honestly. I might just go on multiplayer. I just don't want to like miss out on objectives. I don't know. We'll see what objective I get right to start. But... Putting out fires is just incredibly slow. I mean, what do you expect, really? But essentially, the only thing you do is you hold left click on a fire, and then the fire vanishes, and then you get some reputation points. That's pretty much it. So, um, very rudiment rudimentary right now. The game is only being developed by, I think, one or two people. It's not a big developer team or anything. You can open up uh, all these doors right here, and you can sit in the back. There's four seats in the back. There's the trunk right here, which we're going to open up to get um, uh, a fire extinguisher, a water hose, which you connect to a hydrant. In terms of rescue, we've got a spreader and a medic bag. We might be able to use a spreader in single player. Light iron axe coming in soon, I guess. And then for additional, we've got traffic cones and spare tires. Which, I guess, are again coming in soon. Also, you can punch people. I don't really know why. 
Let's see, container fire. So this is what I'm talking about when I say, like, it's kind of like, yeah. You'll see what I mean when we get there. We're going to press Y, and we're going to go and respond. There's a green thing on our map. Where's it at? Oh my god, it's on our side of the map. All right, we'll be right back. Power of editing. I don't think you guys really want to watch me drive all the way there, but I could be wrong. You can also press middle click to horn. I'll show you guys a bit of the, the highway real quickly, because we might not actually get on a chase here. I mean, this is where I was a few seconds ago when we had that chase with our AI. It's just a shame, because I do like the car physics a lot, and if it was just, you know, a way to play as a civilian and just, like, fuck with the cops kind of thing, like, that would be cool, right? You know, you just drive away and have a cool car pursuit and, and, and see if you outrun them or not. Or maybe I wouldn't be cool, I don't really know. But I think that simple idea would actually be a lot of fun. And the great thing about having, you know, PvP is you don't have to rely on making... It oh shit, we might get stuck now, are we good? You don't have to rely on making incredible 200 IQ AI. And, of course, with VoIP, it makes everything interesting. A lot of games which have got VoIP, if it didn't have VoIP, it wouldn't be fun. VoIP opens up... Uh, you know, players entertaining each other instead of relying on the game entertaining them. Oh shit, okay, I think we might get stuck here. Okay, this is, uh, yeah, this is not how you drive. We may well be stuck. Okay, I might have got stuck. I'm just gonna show you guys the, I mean, this is a menu quickly. We'll go hop online and I'll just play as a fireman online because, uh, that way at least we'll see some more players, I guess. Here on game, let's turn that one. Uh, you can't change friendly fire, you can't change NPC backup, you can't pass with servers right now, six players max. Uh, that's pretty much fat. So yeah, I'm not going to be able to show you all of objectives, but ultimately I'm going to show you the experience which most people are going to experience, and I think that's fine. Um, most people are going to be playing multiplayer, they don't want to play by themselves, I think. I could be wrong. And I'm not really sure if these servers are like locally ran, like peer-to-peer, -peer, or if you're dedicated servers, because someone said, oh yeah, it's, um, it's six players because it's locally ran. I mean, that's cool and all, but, uh... I don't know, like, if that's the case, just, I don't know, make dedicated servers? It's not like the game's free to play or something. Like, you're gonna make some money on it, just make some dedicated servers, and then you can have 30 player servers or something. Or maybe it's just too many, I guess, at this point, I don't really know. I uh, know it's load in, let's see who we are dealing with today. We've got, it looks like, three or four police, one EMS. So I am gonna be by myself on the police department, oh, not police department, fire. And also, you can see the FPS in the game right now. It's kind of bad. Top left right now, 45 FPS. Surprisingly bad, but it's whatever. Sure, it'll improve. Yeah, so we're not going to see any civilians walking around the streets now. And we are not going to see any cars driving around, but at least we'll see our players, right? Let's wait for our first call. I'm not really sure how long it'll take. Sometimes you just never get calls, it feels like. But I could be wrong. We'll wait a few minutes. In case you wanted to see the interior of this thing, there's nothing like, interactable in these vehicles. Or in this vehicle right here. And it's the same with the medic vehicle as well. Let's turn on sirens so we can go through the traffic light. So that's how laws work. Let's see what these guys over here are actually up to. You can also open up a hood, which is like a 2D, uh... What the fuck are these guys doing? How do I change my name? Uh, $10 DLC. Just kidding. So these guys are currently rolling around, seemingly doing nothing. Hey, officer. Alright. So it's been about two minutes now, we still don't have a call. It might genuinely just be bugged out, and maybe I'll just never get a call. I just feel like it would be kind of important to have that for an early access build. Again, you know, I'd say the game's got potential. But the thing is, sometimes games that have potential don't really go anywhere. So I don't know. It, it could be, like, a potential game where, like, it, it gets really cool. Or it could be one of those, like, potential games where it just kind of sucks forever, you know? Cough is a star bit... Oh. Smashed over that thing right there. Just lost some reputation. Cough is, a, cough is a star bit weird, so, I mean... Yeah, that kind of just shown that... Um, like desync, ramming, and stuff like that is very much so possible, but that's fine. It's to be expected. And if you do smash into civilian vehicles, then you will get, um... You will get, uh... Or you will lose reputation points, as you can see right there. Alright, I think we're gonna change server anyway, because this one seems to... Not, be not giving me any objectives, unfortunately. Sometimes it, it happens. So you can't see on multiplayer when someone responds to something. I mean, we've seen this earlier as well, but it says, oh, there we go, building fire. But it says, uh, Ferrici is responding to a vehicle accident, or incident. So, when someone else goes on an objective, you can see it, and sometimes you can help a vehicle incident. I don't think I can, because I don't think I've got a medic bag in the back of my car, but I might, maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much just get the medic bag, search every single spot on the body, I'll show you in a few seconds. And then you, um, put them on a stretcher, 
as I've shown you guys in the intro, and then you just uh, bring him to the hospital and drop him off. Easy peasy. So let's go see what's up with this building fire. Alright, we're almost up there. Driving up hills really hard. I do know some people's like YouTube channels are dedicated. I guess this is maybe who the game's for, but YouTube channels are dedicated to like playing GTA, like this single player kind of mod where you just respond to randomly generated things. I guess that's more so what this game is, so maybe the things that I would like out of a game like this will never happen. Maybe it'll forever just be, you know, procedurally, or not procedurally, randomly generated, uh, you know, like, oh, you're going to do this, you're going to go do this, and then maybe get into different uh, factions to work with one another. Like right now, obviously, when you take down a guy and bring him to a police department, the car just chills there, which is why the tow truck driver is going to be added eventually. You know, so. Let's see, we have five fires to put out. We're just looking at the bottom. Am I stuck? No, I'm not. Okay, we're good. If you do get stuck, you're completely out of luck, though. You can sometimes push your vehicle by running into it, but it doesn't work most of the time. But yeah, fires put out, zero out of five. So, any department could help me out with this one, because everyone's loaded with a fire extinguisher, but it's unlikely that anyone's going to come here. Because why would they? Alright, that building is indeed on fire. So now what you do is, there's no fire hydrant, I don't think, anywhere near us. I'm going to go check quickly, but I don't think there is. Yeah, I don't see a fire hydrant. Well, I might just be blind. So I'm going to have to show you guys the fire hydrant thing in a second. But in terms of what we do in this faction, let's see if we've actually got the, the medic as well. We do have a medic bag, okay, so I guess we could help with that. Um, but yeah, I mean, you pretty much just go over to a fire, or left click on the fire, and then the fire will do this, and it takes about 20 seconds or something. It's the same speed with the fire extinguisher as it is with the holes. And that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. And there's like, there's a, there's a barn fire, there is a, I don't know if there's any, anywhere where you actually need to use the spreader. Uh, there's a barn fire, there's a building fire, there's a dumpster fire, I'm not sure what else, I guess we'll, we'll see. And we need to go and get another fire extinguisher right now. Alright, and that's it. There we go, we did it. First power 505. Nice. Alright, let's see if we can get an objective which doesn't involve holding left click on things. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna respond to that. It's a container with like two fires in it. No. I want something different. Yeehaw! Looks like the police department are having an issue putting someone in jail, so we're gonna go we're gonna go respond to that and see if we can help. Oh, someone's responding to a vehicle incident. We'll, we'll, we'll go do that in a second, so there's no point of like, going over and seeing what's up. Like, oh shit, that'll be good. Oh, it might have flipped. That'll be good. Oh nice, I didn't even lose any reputation points. Those guys totally were parked there when I came here. Why are you running to a police department? <laughs> Oh, we just dropped him. Can I talk to this nice man? I can't. Looks like only cops can. Take him downtown, boys. Oh, bonfire. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Aggressive driver. Wait. So went to aggressive for her. Dude's like playing a German or something. Oh, right, let's go let's go watch the cops respond to this aggressive driver. In fact, we'll go help the cops respond to the aggressive driver. That's what the cops need. They need a fireman to help them. Normally the aggressive driver literally spawns okay. Literally spawns in the same city, like a few meters away. I don't know why they're going different ways. I don't know if he spawned maybe a decent amount out of the city or something, but every single time I've done it, he spawned like literally in the city. So but it looks like these guys are driving a decent way, so maybe we'll have a nice highway chase on our hands. But it does seem like the AI behave the same way every time. It's not like you can get, like, an, I mean, you know, an aggressive driver, a passive driver. I mean, he's not going to be in a police chase, he's passive, right? This guy over here is responding, you can see, and bringing that guy in the stretcher. He just, like, floats while he brings him on a stretcher, putting him inside the, the ambulance right there. Um, but, yeah, he, he's just uh, checked them up. Now, a container fire, we're going to say no to that one. I mean, if, if all we get is container fire, barn fire, oh, shit, and uh, the other fire, then, I mean, that's pretty much that. I think I might have already seen everything there is to show as a fire department, at least on multiplayer. I think it's this faction which has the additional ones on single player. But it doesn't matter if it's actually trying to trying to ram or anything go. I'll just give him a good old ramadan. Oh, never mind.
Container fire? No. Oh. Look, these guys are like trying to spike strip him or some shit. Like, you can't spike strip him, dude. You just need to keep him in. On my car. Dude, this guy needs to just chill out, man. I'm just responding. You know, we even got the same name, man. Oh. He's out it. No, he's not. Alright, so then he's gonna like get pushed out of the vehicle in a second. There we go. And then he just talked to him. And I don't, I don't know. Like, that's pretty much it. We do have like random names and stuff, but yeah. Alright, I'm gonna give it one more fire pop up. If it's not you, we're gonna go on a medic. Yeah, hopefully you guys can see why I said, like, fire, I need help. It, I, the problem is, I don't know who this guy is. Wait, where? Is this guy EMS? Container fire? No. Oh, we'll wait for one more then. Alright, so he needs my help, apparently. So, yeah, I don't think there's anything we can click here, is there? No. Oh, shit. Just because there purely, like, isn't really that much to do, like, you could pretty much do every single piece of content because there is no vibe in about an hour, probably. Um. Oh, it looks like we've got that going real good. Uh, I don't really know if I can help. I guess we're gonna like run into it. Building fire? Nope. See you guys? Fire department is useful. More than three things. And also you can't yoink other people's cars in case you're wondering. If you're not in that faction. Or if, you, if it's not your car, full stop, you can't, you can't take it, so yeah. Let's go on the back and actually look at first person, see if that works. Um, yeah, it works. Okay, cool. Building fire. Alright, it looks like the only things we've got is building fires and... Um, dumpster fires. Obviously, there's a lot of buildings on the map. Fire truck, don't join police chasers because you wouldn't... Don't join police chasers because you wouldn't in IRL. Just fell off. Like, relax, dude. Like, I need to just calm down, man. Like, I mean, I get it. It's ruining his immersion or whatever, but I mean, I don't know, dog. There's not really that much to do. Like, just trying things out, trying out new things, innovating, innovating the game, keeping it fresh. Looking back at my footage as well, the set I was on previous to this, everyone was rolling around with their hoods up. So I think you can just find different communities in this, some people who are just fucking around, and some people who are taking it very seriously. Unfortunately, I found people that didn't match my personality of just wanting to fuck around, and I found some people who were very, very keen, and I apologise for ruining their gameplay session. Almost. Right, that was a good parking job. Alright, we're gonna go inside a fire department. Actually, I don't know what the fire department building even looks like. Um, and, and see what we can do. But, you know, if we can get some like, actual house fires in internal house fires and you can, like, chop down the doors and shit, that'd be cool. Oh, there's no fire department. Okay. Well, we don't need a fire truck ramming and landing on top of our cars. That guy's just, just chill out, dog. Come on, bro. All right. So, we're going to go and change to the medic. The last faction we haven't done. We are going to be an African-American male. <laughs> Imagine if I responded to the aggressive driver we just got. There's an EMS. They'd be really upset. Maybe it's why I, why I didn't get a key, because I'm a bit too trolley. I don't need trolley, I just I just like to fuck around, you know? I'm just I'm just here to have a fun time, and that's how I have a fun time. I'm not having a fun time by being super keen. I'm just here, I'm going to have a fun time by just, just, just fucking about, you know? Um, but yeah, in terms of items, stretcher, you pull this out, and then you can... Um, oh, shit. You can uh, just move it around. That's pretty much that. Put that back in there. Uh, but it does seem like there's really not too much in terms of randomness in terms of in, in EMS either. But we've got a defib, got all of this stuff. But you'll see how the actual role of EMS works right now. It's it's, it's incredibly simple. Incredibly. But let's have a look at the uh, first person on this quickly. Nothing really in here. Okay. Turn on the engine. We've got three e Wait. Yeah, we've got three EMS and four cops, is that? Wait, it says we've got five cops and three EMS. I mean, allegedly. Unless it was uh, maybe just vehicles or something. Yeah, I think maybe this game, like, maybe I'm just not part of his audience or something, because... 
Like, that guy got upset because I, like, smashed into a bunch of cars and drove like a little madman. Like, do you mean, like, just drive around like this or something? Like, I don't know. And then, like, type in chat or something? The EMS job, there's not many positions that the actual jobs happen, from what I can see. So this guy's gonna bring me out to the hospital, and I guess I'll get a job after that. And the weird thing is, as well, you'll notice, is, um... Oh, aggressive driver. Yeah, that's what helped those boys. The weird thing is, with a... Head-on collision, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I forgot what it's described as in the game. There's only one person who's out, out on the floor, but then there's two cars. Just doesn't, doesn't really make too much sense. And he's, like, passed out. I don't know. The thing is, if I could, like, wipe and shit, like, I could take it seriously, but I just can't take it seriously when I could just drive around and just type and there's really nothing to do, you know? Oh, oops. So. Let's say we've already got the guys in the city limits. Come out with your hands up. Yeah, punch them, punch them. Bam. One punched him. Oh, there's civilians in this. Yeah, there's no, it says it's friendly fire, but I don't think friendly fire even works. Oh, looks like he's out, boys. Quick, get him. You know, playing multiplayer is definitely better than single player. Though. There's the problem, it's like really easy to get them, and then once you got them, you just kind of look at them. Like, what's he doing? His, he's just shitting himself right now. Like, what is that wheel doing? Developer of this game, I was looking at some of his old YouTube videos, I think in my Flashing Lights video that I made a few months ago, and like, he's made some really cool stuff, so I've still got some hopes for this game, but like I said, I don't, I don't really know if I even fall under... What's he doing? What? What the f... What? What are you doing? He needs to put him in. Wait, wait, you can't put him in. This, I mean, there should be a thing right here to put him in. You need to put him in hospital. So the thing is, he's not putting him in hospital, so I'm not getting no objective. I don't think I can drive his stretch reaver. Yeah, no, I definitely can't. I remember trying- oh, someone else trying. I put him in the- there's like a thing over there, or there should be. I don't see it, but I'm assuming it's just because I don't have him. Yeah, put him right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? It's bugs. Oh my fucking god, are you serious? Alright, well, I guess we're going on a different server. Oh, you can jump! Wow. Alright, so we have the only medic on this server. I did that on purpose. There's only one other person on the server. I should get a job really quickly. And an Oregano server is part of the fire department. So, a few seconds and it should pop up, assuming it's not bugged out. We'll, we'll, we'll give it a bit of time, you know. Alright, I think the server might be bugged out as well. Which does seem like there is an alarming amount. Honestly, of game breaking bugs. You know, I've only recorded for 37 minutes now, and there's a lot of things which are completely breaking, you know, one third of a game. Like, I don't know if someone was on EMS earlier and bugged it out. I mean, I guess I'll just wait a bit more time. The problem is, when I'm waiting, there's literally nothing else for me to do. <laughs> you know? Hi there, currently there are 14 fire depart department missions, 2 EMS missions, 1 police department call out. Today's up to include 5 new callouts for fire and 5 new callouts for EMS. Work has been done towards some police callouts as well as we speak. 14? 14? And I only seen 3? And also, in another thread, he did mention that uh, they know that it's broke. Which is good, I guess. It's better not knowing that it's broke, but uh, it it's definitely oh, it's definitely broke. So we do need to go ahead and leave the game. And honestly, at this point, we're just gonna make a new game and see the two EMS callouts. Which I, I know one of them is to like I don't actually know one of them is to get a dude out of a car, 
but you don't really do anything. You just pat him up in any in another one. I don't know what it is. This is a great game. Yeah, no, if we can get like uh, VoIP with separate radio frequencies for each of the uh, emergency. Uh... Oh, dude, FPS is so much better now. For each of the uh, factions, and you know, get a directional VoIP as well. It's not really a requirement, but uh, yeah, then that would be really cool. I think. This is a driver trapped in a car. We'll see what I mean, because obviously I'm on an empty server right now about the the, depart the fire department already doing the job. And, or it might be because it might be because um, because I'm by myself, but I'm pretty sure it isn't. I could be wrong. But yeah, the idea of getting multiple emergency response departments working alongside each other is definitely a necessity. Along with fight. You can do that, then that's cool. You get to work alongside each other, and even if there is nothing to do other than to respond to random AI objectives, that's fine. Yeah, I remember this is the place I where I responded to it yesterday, but you can see there's a fire department dude already on scene. He's currently there with the jaws of life. And all we do now is you'll see, we'll go to him, he'll say, you need a bag. Get the bag out of the back. Like, it's, it's, not, it's not different anytime, that's a problem. It's always the same thing. Uh, but yeah, we get the bag out, and then we go ahead and hold left click on every single part of his body. So hold left click. It is a bit faster than putting out a fire, I'll give you that. Hold left click. And the problem is it's not like, oh wow, his leg's fucked up, dude. We're gonna have to do X and Y. It's just like, nope, he's good. He's oh, maybe he's not good, but we all just inspect it all and then that's it. Alright, get grab a structure from the back. Uh when you right click. Items. Also we do have a oh my finger already shown all stuff. Yeah I did. You can't pull up a stretch unless you got room. I learned that the hard way yesterday. And then we just go ahead and drag over here. The thing is, we can't, like, go in them like this. We need, like, left-click on them. So it's kind of hard because you need to, like, put the stretcher sideways. And then, like, shit. All right. Like, when you go, like, this way and then left-click. Oh. I think that's what we do, don't we? I can't remember. I thought that's what we did. We'll go do a U-turn quickly. Screw No, we can't go backwards. Oh, no, we can we should be able to get it from here. There we go. Oh, we can pick up our bag again. Okay, our bag's gone. That's good. Don't want to waste our materials. And then we'll just stick them in the back. And you close the doors. I mean, you don't... Nah, fuck it. We're not closing the doors. No. Good doors. Now we go back to base. I do love the skin marks. But so you could have, uh, and I understand it's not easy to make games, you know, don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying, you know, I I'm assuming you're going to do this eventually, but if you had the vehicles, uh, the vehicles driving around of the AI, on multiplayer, or even single player. Oh, yeah, I guess if you do drop on a single player. But the point is, you don't speed. You could set up, you know, a, uh, a speed trap and catch them go speed and put your code freeze on. Um, and then, you know, I guess it'll be called out for everyone else. And then you pursue him. And he realizes he's being pursued. And then the AI doesn't suck. You know? It doesn't just drive in a wall. I mean, I didn't say that. The night doesn't drive in a wall. Uh, anyway, stop right here. Hop on out. My sensitivity is incredibly high. Go ahead and go bam, 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 bam. Do a UE. There we go. And then you are going to go right here. So this is the thing I was talking about before. It was bugged out. You just go, pop, and then he's gone. And then you get um, injured cut free. I actually didn't cut anyone free, but thank you for the, the claim that I did. Dude, I'm not reversing. Chill. Chill. In case you couldn't tell as well, already there is no day night time. Let's say vehicle incident to vehicle collision. Is that the thing I just responded? No, it isn't. I think this is the other thing. So this is literally the other thing. It should be in front of me. Yeah. That's how I thought it was going to be as well. That's where I was, I think, with uh, those guys a second ago. It's really... 
not that many places where these things happen because obviously you need them to be in very specific places whereas the fire department for example when they're putting out a, a fire it's like oh well we'll just put on a bunch of houses but this you kind of need to have like specific locations where it's happened or I guess it could be a bit more buried but yeah I think this is a place where we were a second ago on that other server to not code freeze I don't know I didn't do it already I'm just a really really bad at uh whatever my job is yeah, this was the place it was a second ago, isn't it? Yeah, you can see the guy's on the floor right here. He's passed out. He's by himself for some reason. I guess all that guy like ran away and abandoned his vehicle or some shit. Roll play by the way. Then you gonna hold left click on him. You can touch up his cock. Crouching around. There we go. See, this is nice and fast, you know. Grinding these reputation points. I cannot wait to unlock my um, sexy nurse outfit at 500 reputation points. Yeah, I don't think we can interact in any way with these vehicles either. No, it doesn't look like it. But yeah, but no, I've been recording for 46 minutes now. And obviously that's not including, like, you know, server swaps and all that stuff. And I'm going to edit it down a bit. And the thing is, we've done everything. Everything. Except for those, like, 14 fire department jobs or whatever, but... Oh, shit. I guess we'll go hop on single player quickly to see if those really do exist. I don't know. Because obviously we did three fire department jobs, or we did two. Wait, no, I think we did one. But yeah, it was a. Oh, we didn't do a barn fire, but the barn fire is pretty much exactly the same as a house fire, but it's on a barn. The dumpster fire is exactly the same as a barn fire and a house fire, but it's on a dumpster, and it's like there's two fires. Um, but we'll go on single play and see what else we can do. But you know, if you are adding in new content and stuff and fixing these bugs, you know, like I said, I, I have hope, I just don't know the direction. We'll see. We'll see. But I know my audience is not that audience who enjoys watching, you know, a single player role played out um, scenario of me, like, responding to randomly generated situations. So, I don't know if you guys even enjoy watching this. You know, if you've liked it, I guess leave a like on the video or whatever, and maybe I'll make some more on it, but... You probably didn't, just because it's not really for my audience. But I wanted to check out the game anyway, because it does have some similarities with the content I make. And, you know, the game's like, I give it like a solid, solid 6 out of 10. Um, oh. Wait, did I... I mean, I definitely... One second, you, you wait right there. Wait, what the fuck? Just hold right click as well. <laughs> Got my hands up my ass. Um... Yeah, potential. Alright, let's see if we can uh, maybe treat this guy quickly. It's not marked on my map anymore. Uh, can we get him off? His nope. Alright, we're bugged out. Alright, cool. Let's go back on as... Wait, I'm not single player. Right? Okay, we're going to leave game. We're going to go single player quickly. And we're going to go see if there's any other fire things. Just out of curiosity. Just out of curiosity. Because if, if there's no other fire things, I don't know where that guy's getting a number from, the developer. But... Um, if there's no other things, then, I mean, we've, we've, done, we've done everything, you know, there's only one police thing, which is a red vehicle, which is aggressive, there's two, uh, yeah, two medic things, the vehicles which collided for each other, and the one where the dude's, like, been role-played out of the car or whatever, and then fire department, we've done three things, but 14? I do know they did mention on, uh, the update today, or maybe not today, when was it, that, uh, that's, or they added some more fire department things, I think, right here, they said, you can see about the... Character, character customization speed, various speed limits for different, yeah, cool. Uh, tow truck right there, so with the model already, but uh, they did mention that they did add in, let's see, traffic stop, left control, automatically enable emergency lights if they're off, okay. Uh, but yeah, three new vehicle fire callouts, two new rescue callouts for fire department, single player only, and five new callouts for the EMS department. But what do you mean? I mean, I don't know what these calls are, because I'm not, you know, but there's only two things to do as EMS, what, isn't there? I don't know. I know. Let's see the let's see the fifteen things. What is it? Was it fifteen or was it? How many was it? Discussions. I love this content. Fourteen fire department things to do. Fourteen. Vehicle incident. Driver trapped. Okay, we haven't done that before. I'll I'll give him that. Let's let's see. So obviously we are going to use our jaws of life, but obviously this is only in a single player environment, unfortunately. If there's a way to do this online, I 
Alright, I probably deserved that. Anyway, I'll show you guys quickly the thing I didn't show you earlier. Oh shit, I really want to respond to this though. Yeah, war horse, so you get the war horse, you attach it to this, and then you can bring it for an unlimited amount of time. You can like spell out like, I don't know, penis or some shit if you want. And then you just fucking squirt on shit. And you got unlimited ammo, that's pretty much it. And then you just fucking put it back up your ass and then you're done. Uh yeah, that's a that's an issue though. It's definitely an issue. Oh shit, yeah, I see on the left right here, it says uh, fire calls and rescue calls. So I guess on single player, you've got rescue calls as well as fire calls, container fire, no. Okay, so we're gonna ignore that, and then we're gonna wait for the next pop-up, which will hopefully be a rescue call. I'm not gonna make the same mistake that I just made again. We're gonna, we're gonna play seriously now. Oh, it's a traffic light. Okay. Alright, thanks buddy. Alright, thanks buddy. I hope you guys are losing their uh, civilian reputation points for that bullshit. Bonfire? No. So if somebody's just like driving the back of you, or is it because I was sideways? I don't know. Oh wait, we're both turning. Never mind, we'll never know. Vehicle incident! Heck yeah, let's go! Cut, freeze. Alright, so it looks like it's in the same place that I was a second ago. So I guess this one's pretty much like the EMS one, except I have to do the job. But my question is, once I've done my job, what happens? Does he just chill out there and just like fly on the floor dead? Oh, no, no! All right, we're just gonna chill out, just chill. I mean, this is a big vehicle, and I'm really not driving it like it's a big vehicle. I'm driving like it's like a little mini. It's not a mini. It's a fire truck. Let's just think before we drive. I'm just fucking like drift around every corner. Oh, but civilian vehicles do pull over the side of the road when you got your code freeze on as well, it's pretty cool. Yeah, pull right, pull right, not left, good boy. I mean, you didn't really pull right, but whatever. So yeah, yeah, this is pretty much the same one, but inverted, okay. I'll take it, I guess. So we are going to use our jaws of light and see how those work. I'm excited. I'm guessing we're going to hold left click and then that's pretty much it, which, which is fine. Let's see. Left click. Okay. Damn, son. Yeah, I just confirmed it wasn't bugging out before. That was uh, me just fucking around. All right, so do I need to help him as well? I guess we're gonna we're gonna check him up because I've got my uh, medic bag right here. Let's, let's go check him out. See if he's okay. All right, I'm not entirely sure why the medic's not doing this job, but okay, we'll take it. Ambulance will take it from here. Return to headquarters. Okay, bye. Oh wow, look at him. What's he doing? He's like, he's like miming him or some shit. Are you okay there, buddy? Look at him. Look at him go. Building fire. Nah, I'm good, honestly. Oh, okay, so I didn't realize there was actually a lot more options. I guess we'll leave all these on just for the last few minutes of the video. Yeah, it looks kind of nice now. I mean, the depth of field is kind of like aidsy. Nope, not doing a container fire, but yeah, no, it looks nicer now. Definitely looks nicer now. But I, I know I thought the game looked bad. I like the art style, kind of. What the fuck is going on here? Do you guys need help? Here you go. Bam. Is that bad? There we go. Sorry, right, you can see my my name on the back. Just you know, call him up and Tom Lewis did it. If you got an issue, train of fire. I'm good. Honestly, it's just a lot of fun just smashing the cars. You know, I don't lose any points either. So. How much fun it is. I guess it's just a tank. Look at him go. Woo! Guess we'll go back on the highway and go back to base. Vehicle incident. Driver trapped. Nah. 
So there is definitely like a taser and a pistol in the game if you want a police department, but purely in terms of like gameplay mechanics, I've never played the GTA mods, which do this before, but it does seem like from what the, the videos I've seen, that those mods right now uh, do more than this game, which I'm sure will change over time, but there is issues with this game, like, you know, a pop-in's a bit of a yikes with the AI and stuff, and there is no AI on multiplayer. I mean, I guess most people do those kind of missions on single player anyway, but yeah, I don't know. My favorite one is definitely police, and we just don't get to do anything as police, and it's just it's upset, to be honest. Yeah, I can see like a ra why a random idiot like me could uh, ruin your immersion, you know? When you're playing online, and all of a sudden, like, there's a fire truck just like responding to, you know, an aggressive driver. I can see why that's a bit upsetting, you know? I apologize to the people I offended earlier by doing that. Um, problem is, I've already played this game for like an hour and a half, so I wanted to make a video on it. But at the same time, I didn't want to do everything that I just did. I wanted to experiment, you know? Alright, we're gonna wait for one more pop up, and I think we've done pretty much everything here. Um, so, in total, I can only see four really unique things to do as fire department, which is fine. Um, can I see if we can get like minus reputation points? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just curious. There's only four different things to do with this building fire. I guess I'll do a building fire. Why not? Yeah, that's really close. Okay. I'll show you guys at least, like, putting out a fire with the fire hydrant, but it's a very similar kind of ordeal anyway, so, I don't know. Building fire is right about here. We're going to park over here, put on a cold freeze, hop out of vehicle, bam, 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 and then, uh, pew. and then, uh, we'll just go over here, and we'll just hold left click on eight fires. Jesus Christ. Eight fires. I don't know if I want to do this at this point. I'll I'll do it for the people because I'm dedicated. That's what you guys want to see. These fires are like kind of interesting. Though. They're not really like spread out. They're just like, all on one side, just shown out. They're kind of hard to find though. Or I guess they're not really that hard. I guess it's these fire things right here. So it's like, hey, I can see three right now in front of me. Can you get a good aim on it. All right, and we are done. I have had issues before where I power all fires and then nothing happens. Alright, we're gonna wait for one more. And then, uh, you know, I think we've done our job. Should pop up in a few seconds. And overall, I've had I've had a whale of a time today. A whale of a time. Hope you guys enjoyed it, you know. Expect regular flashing light video. I don't know if, like, YouTubers do that. Like, when I get, I don't exactly play, like, the most pristine video games. They're like, armor. What a shit game, right? Well, not shit, but you know what I mean. But, like, playing, like... A randomly generate I mean I guess it's just different strokes of different folks but you know they play like this every, every day where it's just you know randomly or it's like a dude on like a dock with like a gun in GTA and then you like he sort of put that weapon down well I don't know the depth of the games I guess really because I've never played them and I've only watched a few minutes of game gameplay footage on it I just I don't get the appeal but you know whatever whatever floats your boat I guess you know I like that kind of thing but I do like the I like interaction in games I think that's the thing I like most about games Interaction, that's why, like, you know, the main two things I do is, like, roleplay and survival kind of thing. Or not really roleplay, but just, I just like interacting with people, just hearing people's voices and, you know, interaction IRL, that's scary. But, uh, let's go respond to this just to see if it's in a different place, but I'm really not, no, nope, it's in exactly the same place. Alright, I think that's pretty much it, man. There's nothing else to say here. We are done. There's only four things is, 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 is fire department. I don't know what the developer here is talking about. 14 fire department missions. I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, yeah, anyway, thanks a lot for watching. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and all good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time for my full series on flashing lights with part one featuring the policeman taking down the man in a red vehicle who's aggressive. It's going to be a good one.